You know, I remember talking about this subject a couple of years ago, and it was a pretty interesting subject, not a subject that I had ever want to talk about or had a planning of, but I knew that this day would eventually arrive and that I had to talk about this and be open on it. The day that my school found out that I was a YouTuber slash having a YouTube channel, make it ASMR. I always knew this was going to happen, but I didn't know it was going to happen that fast. So enjoy the video. It happened quite a while ago. This is already three and a half years ago. But uh, see, when I was in YouTube at the time in 27, no, 2018, I had a roughly 95,000, 100,000 followers at the time. And I was eventually going to realize, okay, eventually someone is going to find out about my YouTube channel, which I only had one at the time. Uh, I don't think I had two channels. I don't know. I think I did. I don't know, but it doesn't matter. Anyways, I had a channel which was lovely ASMR still to this day. And I knew eventually, okay, there is going to be a chance eventually that someone in my school or God knows what is going to find out about the fact that I do YouTube and especially ASMR. See, the thing was, ASMR back then wasn't as popular amongst kids slash teenagers as it is right now. Nowadays, it's fucking ridiculous. Like, God damn, everyone makes ASMR. You don't have to be talented to make it, unfortunately, if you know what that means. Uh, now, nah, but all jokes beside, it was on a day. I don't know what day, God damn, I don't remember. I, I was second grader though. I remember I was in second grade, right? And it was on, I think, either a Monday or a Tuesday or Thursday. I don't know, but I was with one of my friends at the time, which I don't speak to anymore. You know, most of the people I was around, friends with in the time, I don't speak to them anymore because of, you know, stuff they do, which I didn't want to be involved with, crim criminality and stuff. You know, I didn't want to be one of them. So anyways, um, it was a gym. I just uh, got finished at the gym with the class and a friend of mine would quite often, you know, come with us as, uh, you know, he was bored, he had his work done, this and that, which I know for a fact he got and almost never did. He just rushed it in this and that. And we walk through the fence, through the gate, and these kids like the first graders, which I never liked them. I didn't like them. They were kind of like, you know, first graders are goddamn annoying. Like, they're so freaking annoying, bro. Always got something to say, this and that. Um, and one of them walks up to me and said, uh, you have a YouTube channel. I was like, what? I was confused because I was just wondering what the fuck is he, what is, what is he going about? Like, I don't know. The friend at the time knew that I had a channel, but I, he had promised me and I had told him and I asked him, look, could you for at least it now keep it private please to respect my you know choices he said yeah sure no problem uh which he did which was nice and i appreciate them for doing that but i knew eventually someone was going to find out about my channel so they found out the first graders he walked up to me say hey you have an asmr channel the thing was like i wasn't angry i was just really disappointed with how they treated me and that was for weeks um you see obviously i could have beat them up this and that but that would have done nothing good for me because I've always said the stuff that I made, I did for people that really needed it. And obviously I could have deleted my channels. And I know creators back in the past who I've spoken to got inspired by me making an ASMR channel. They removed their channels because, well, the fact that their school found out, their friends found out. It's a shame, but I guess, I guess it's just a mentality thing, a mental thing, you know, but um, they were like really rude against me towards me i mean sorry they were just i don't know i don't want to say bullying but definitely like teasing me stuff making jokes about what i do and i cried like for real i cried i know this may sound really weird but i wasn't like emotionally i wasn't as strong as i am right now at the moment now i can control my anger and emotions but back then i i couldn't i would just cry about the smallest thing if it was an animal involved this and this and that it hurt me because of the fact I knew that the day would eventually arrive and I accepted it but I felt really disrespected uh, and how they treated me it made me upset so I cried for like 10 minutes outside just wanted to be left alone and I felt like they embarrassed me but now I can say autofocus middle finger because now I'm laughing to the bank you know <laughs> besides that it's true though I I don't know what to add to man. It was I felt embarrassed because I didn't want any of the teachers to know. I didn't want my teacher to know because I just felt uncomfortable about the fact that it's AS small. Majority of people still to this day got no clue what in God's name AS small is. 
When they search it up, unfortunately, a lot of the content nowadays is just bullshit. It's not actual quality A's small, it's sexualized by females, but also guys. There's a couple of guys out there as well, dude. Not me, I don't do that. Uh, when I make a video, it's a joke video. And I have my limits as a creator as well, but these people don't. They don't have any goddamn limits, but. Anyways, right? Um, e so, anyways, right? This is so awesome. Check my <laughs> ATF. Anyway, so I, I felt embarrassed and disrespected because there wasn't a reason why they did this. I guess it made them feel happy. But I eventually arrived and came home that evening later. I sat down, grabbed my phone, which was a goddamn iPhone. Not this kind of iPhone, but I think an iPhone 5, 6, I don't know if they ever made that. But I sat down and I was like, I'm going to make a video about this. My school found out about my ASMR channel. The video you can check, by the way, if you want to. I don't know if you want to watch it. It's really cringy. Jesus Christ. God damn, I can't stand that video, man. Like, I don't know what it is, but like my old videos, for some reason, I can't stand. They're so bad. But I guess it's what I really only knew back then, you know, equipment wise and materialistic wise. But I was really disappointed as you can highly likely hear in that video. I wasn't going to delete my channel because I always promised my audience that if someone ever finds out close to me or goes to school with me about my channel I would never ever consider deleting my channel because not only was I making money at the time it wasn't a lot but it was money you know but also I was enjoying YouTube a lot making videos a lot this and this and that and that was very important for me and I felt like why would I delete my goddamn channel just because a couple of people find out about my school and I guess the word spread it around school that I had a channel and I guess majority of them was ex thought it was pretty cool that I did YouTube. Um, but I had to explain to them what ASMR is. And still to this day, like keeping it honest, I, I don't really feel comfortable telling people what I do for like a job such living. I just say I do YouTube and then they ask, what do you do? Gaming, what is your channel? I'll, I'll link it later when I never link it back because yeah, I am embarrassed about it. I'm very proud of what I've achieved. Don't get that out of your way. I'm very, very proud of what I've achieved. It wouldn't have been possible without you guys, obviously. But you must realize, with someone who's got, I don't want to say necessarily anxiety, but someone who feels very uncomfortable around people and about certain subjects, I, I've never really been open about what I really do on YouTube. I, I just say, oh, I do gaming videos, this and this and that. But matter of fact, I did ASMR. But the thing was, people at my school didn't know what ASMR was. I was the only one that really watched it with someone else, but... I was embarrassed about the fact that I made ASMR because I didn't want people making fun of me for making ASMR and unfortunately it's happened in, in public as well. I think, I guess two people that I used to football with or I don't know, I was on the bus one time and they said, lovely ASMR ad, hey, and they were laughing at me and I felt fucking embarrassed. The pain inside. I don't get how people would, why people would do that. It's like antagonizing someone for no reason, trying to hurt them. And it, it, I was like, what a, what a dickhead. I hope you break your legs, honestly, dude. That was, I, I really meant that when I said that. But now, it's, it's funny f coming from people who you, you used to make laugh, you used to laugh me for making ASMR videos uh, back in the football teams as well. I don't know, one or two guys, they would make fun of me for making ASMR videos. They thought it was stupid. Well, screw them. You know, I don't want to be cocky, you know, that's just not who I am. I don't want to sound cocky and say, oh, yeah, but I'm here, this and down, this. I don't judge people on what they do. I don't put myself higher than the other people. That's just really not who I am, and it's not a good comparison. I'm not going to laugh at someone for having a normal job, you know. I could easily just say, ha, I'm a YouTuber, and you work for someone. That's messed up to say. They don't deserve it, neither do I deserve it, and it doesn't make me feel good. It makes me more like an asshole than someone who you know, as you guys know. I don't really like speaking down on people because why would I? I've also been in the position of having nothing. Everyone has to grind for their own cash and there ain't nothing wrong with having a job, a normal job. It's actually very normal. Most people have normal jobs. What I have is extraordinary and very fortunate enough to be able to do this as my full-time income. Um, but eventually, like I said, let's go back to the school. Eventually words spread around and the teachers know, knew about it and they were very awesome about it they were cool about it and yeah what else can i add is they were very respectful and most people in my school back then they accepted what i did and that was very nice and it made me feel comfortable as well and it made me also want to make more asmr videos and this and that because you, you must remember right 
with someone who's got autism, who's antisocial, is I don't know if I got anxiety, but I just feel really uncomfortable around people. And um, ASMR for me was like a way to escape reality, just do my own thing, not having to worry about people judging me in real life. Obviously, people could judge me in the comments; they still can. That's totally cool. But I felt comfortable knowing the fact that. I'm not getting judged while making a video. I'm making videos for people that enjoy my videos. And that's all what really mattered to me. ASMR slash YouTube has been a great journey for me to this day. And I still love doing it. I swear to God, I love making YouTube videos. It's my escape of reality. It's sort of like my own world. I feel like I'm stuck in, in real life. So when I hop on this camera and use this camera, I feel comfortable and I get into my thing, what I'm known for, what I can do. I can show you my talents, this and that. Some people would arguably say this isn't talent. You gotta have to do it. You wanna have to do it as well. Even when I sometimes don't feel like recording a video, I still do it because I'm thinking about you that is watching my video. That's what's most important for me. But I've continued making videos to this day. My neck hurts, so I'm gonna stop this video. And yeah, I'm glad I never stopped, honestly, man. Because I have considered a couple of times in the past maybe stopping YouTube. Not just because of what people thought, but also just because lack of motivation, because I was just, I was impatient, my man. And you gotta have patience when you want to become successful. But this is just one thing, there's no guarantee that you'll become successful on YouTube. You gotta remind that not everyone is built for it, unfortunately. A lot of creators out there get lucky, and when I say lucky, a lot of people, they, grow, they, they have a blow up, and then they fall down. That's one thing I've never seen to do, which, once in a while I have a video come out good, but I always have a sort of fan base, which is really important. That's what you want as a long lasting longevity career. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video and uh, hope this gave you tingles or anything. See you later, man.